Welcome back to Madman Review. We all love ourselves with some big guns. They make loud noises and the bullets they spit out packs a lot of punch. However, that does not mean they are practical all the time. If you want to actually use and have fun in the field, you want something a little more modest. Something like the 22 lr Fits the bill and it's widely used. For one, 22 lr rifles are a perfect option for novice gun enthusiasts since they are very easy to use. Even veteran firearm owners revisit their 22 lr collection for old time's sake. These rifles are well-rounded, meaning that they're versatile tools in the field regardless of your purpose. Home defense, hunting, target practice? 22 lr rifles can do it all. Moreover, 22 lr ammo is available in abundance, making it easy for novice shooters to practice without worrying about the budget. Given the caliber's small size, the recall is also manageable, even for young shooters. Thanks to their popularity, literally every manufacturer is making at least one rifle in that chambering. For this reason, I have here a list of 10 22 lr rifles for you that I think is worth every penny. The Henry Golden Boy. Guns from Henry just work very well, and the Golden Boy here is no exception. It is a lever-action rifle that handles really well. The 20-inch barrel makes the whole thing go up to 38.5 inches in length and 6.75 pounds in weight. You can get a rail adapter to mount an optic of your choosing, but that sort of ruins the whole classic look of these guns. The Henry AR-7 Survival Rifle. These rifles are not designed for survivalists per se. Rather, they were conceived in 1959 for the United States Air Force. These airmen would go out into their planes with this in their loadout just in case they were down and had to fend for themselves. The go-to option would be to have a pistol, but the United States Air Force believed that having something a bit more than that would go a long way. Nowadays, these were not seen in the hands of airmen, but civilians. The AR-7 survival rifle served both of these groups well, which propelled its popularity to new heights. It is light and compact, but what makes it special is how it is packed. Everything can be disassembled and stored inside the rifle stock, which is resistant to water and shock alike. Fully assembled, the AR-7 sits at 35 inches and 16 inches if everything is stowed. It is so small that you can toss it into your backpack or any cargo area of your boats or small planes. You might think that assembly would be tedious, but they made things pretty straightforward. Just slap the receiver to the stock, insert the barrel, and tighten the nut by hand. You do not need tools for this. The stock is durable, ABS plastic with a rubber butt plate pad. A steel liner sits inside the 16-inch barrel, and the receiver is cast from aluminum. The entire thing is coated in Teflon. They also get an adjustable peep rear sight and fixed blade front sight. The 3 8 inch grooved receiver also gives you some options in terms of optics. Firing from its 8-round mag, which you get two on purchase, is pretty fun as well. The Marlin Model 60. The Model 60 has been in production for almost six decades now, although it changed hands somewhere along the way. It is now being manufactured by Remington. According to them, it is the most popular 22 lr rifle in the world. So what do you get with the Model 60? It is plain and simple, which is not necessarily bad. You get a hardwood stock with a walnut finish, a mar shield finish, and a full pistol grip. The mag tube's innards are brass and can hold 14 rounds. If you can get one that was manufactured before 1968, you get four additional rounds. The Model 60 features a self-loading mechanism that spits out spent shells to the right. It features a straight blowback design with both manual and automatic last shot bolt hold open. You get a cross bolt safety above the trigger that even those with small hands can reach with ease. You also get a 19 inch micro groove barrel. The 16 micro grooves make the gun very accurate. The only downside here is the relatively slow reload. However, you have plenty of magazine capacity and the brass magazine is corrosion resistant. So reloading is not that big a hassle. Moreover, you get an adjustable rear sight and an open front sight. The grooving you see on the receiver allows you to mount an optic of your choice as well. With so many features packed into the gun, it is also very affordable as well. It looks simple and is a reliable companion for many shooters. I consider this to be a great starting option for many shooters. The Browning 22 Semi-Auto Rifle The Browning 22 Semi-Auto Rifle features that classic aesthetic with a twist. It is a takedown rifle. This one allows you to tear it down into two parts. The forearm barrel and buttstock receiver. You can mount a scope up top for extra precision, but it does not need to be removed during the disassembly process, which saves you a lot of time if you need to get everything set up. The only downside I can think of is that the SA-22 does not come with a carrying case, nor does it have any space in the stock to store different parts. So you might need to buy a case separately to keep everything together. The forearm and stock are made with checkered American Walnut Complete, with a glossy finish. 
The trigger mechanism and receiver are blued steel. The 19.25 inch barrel is precision rifled and drilled to take a scope mount, not the receiver. Without the scope, you can work with the gold bead front sight and adjustable folding leaf rear sight. If you're a left-handed shooter, you're in luck. The SA-22 spits brass from the bottom. The CZ-455 American. The American is the youngest in the CZ-455 lineup. This one is an update to the CZ-452. The 455 American lacks a long history compared to the Model 60 or the versatility of other collapsible guns, but it does have a few neat features worth mentioning. One of them is the interchangeable barrel. That means the CZ-455 is capable of shooting different calibers with the same gun. In short, it serves as multiple rifles for the price of one, changing out the barrel straightforward. You just need to tinker with the twin-out screws and hold the barrel in place. You can also swap out the action between any CZ-455 stock. For the stock, it is Turkish walnut and you get an 11mm dovetail rail up top. The trigger is adjustable with two position safety. It is pretty long compared to other guns on the list, but it is just as reliable. The Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 Sport. This one probably sticks out like a sore thumb compared to other guns on the list because of its AR styling. Still, its design allows it to be way lighter than an actual AR. It's only a hair below 5 pounds because the gun makes extensive use of polymer in its construction. One note where the feature is the 10 inches handguard that also happens to have Magpul's M-Lock system, meaning that you can slap on any M-Lock compatible accessories without worries. If you want, you can also mount Picatinny rails as well. Along with your purchase, you get a 2 inch rail as well as a 25 round mag. On top of all this, you get a 6 position car stock, a charging handle, and Magpul M bus sights. The 1522 Sport is an excellent option for those who want to dip their toe into the AR world or just want a 22 LR rifle that they can kit out to their heart's content. The CZ 452. The CZ 452 is a bolt action hand fed rimfire rifle. You can pick between a Malnut Beechwood or a synthetic stock. The barrel is hammer forged, which drives up the price, but ensures excellent durability. The threaded barrel on the CZ-452 also allows for a suppressor if you so wish. The receiver is made from a single billet of steel, which also takes a fair bit of work to work into a functional piece, but also guarantees durability. It comes with a milled dovetail for scopes. To complete the set, the CZ-452 comes with an adjustable trigger and a detachable 5-round magazine. You can get single-shot adapters or a 10-round mag as well. For left-handed shooters, there are left-handed models as well. Young shooters can opt for the Scout version as the short is shortened, making the gun easier to work with. Not to mention the single round loading device. The only real downside I can think of is the two position safety switch, which works differently from other firearms for some reason. To disengage the safety, you need to push the safety button back towards yourself and forward to engage it. Other than that, the CZ-452 is accurate and reliable. Not to mention diverse in its models, and many shooters will enjoy shooting this for a very long time. The Ruger 1022 Takedown. This, Ruger claims, is the most popular 22 series ever in the world. Given how well the Ruger 1022 performs out in the field, what Ruger said is not far from the truth. Here, I want to talk about the 1022 Takedown specifically. The Takedown is similar to the AR7 above in the sense that you can disassemble and reassemble it with ease. However, the takedown has its own storage case that you can stow away in your backpack. This case also has enough real estate for ammo and other accessories. Of course, well, the case of the takedown looks a lot better than the AR-7 storage stock. It is neither stock nor water resistant. You also get more shots in the magazine, 10 of them. The Ruger 1022 takedown is reliable and will serve you well in the field. You can get it with an 18.5 inch barrel or a 16.62 inch barrel. The first option comes with a brushed aluminum receiver and the second one has a black alloy receiver. Weight wise, the takedown is heavier. Both variants are precision rifled and cold hammer forge and they come with a black synthetic stock. Other features include a positive push button, cross bolt manual safety as well as a combination scope base adapter compatible with weaver style and 22 tip off scope mounts. The takedown is also highly customizable. The Ruger 10 22 Charger. The Ruger 1022 Charger is the kind of gun you can fit into your backpack the same way the Ruger 1022 Takedown is. It is compact and lightweight, it sits at 17 inches long and weighs about 5 pounds. You can slap a suppressor on this thing to make it barely any louder than a squeak and the bipod lug gives you the extra stability when firing. It's not that you would need it since the gun virtually has no recoil. You also get a pistol grip that is compatible with the AR, a 15 round mag, an accessory rail up top for optics and one that is placed vertically on the side presumably for a foldable stock, which I highly recommend. 
The downside is that it might be overwhelming to pick a configuration since there are so many. The lack of iron sight means that optics are mandatory if you want to hit something that far away. Then again, the gun is made to put down pests or small game, so you're supposed to get close and personal. It is an affordable and fun gun to use. It is reliable, accurate, comfortable to use, and comes with a whole host of customization options. The Savage Mark II. The Savage Mark II takes the world by storm at its debut. It's a bolt-action 22 LR rifle that just works straight from the box. First thing first, it looks gorgeous with its wooden stock. The intricate checkered pattern feels nice to the touch. The barrel is free-floating, but the metal sights are nothing to write home about. You're probably better off slapping a scope up top. The Monte Carlo stock allows you to rest your face on the wood at just the right spot so you can peer through the scope. The highlight of the gun is the trigger. You can adjust its pull weight after taking apart the stock from the barrel and action. Then you can make fine adjustments from there. The mag tube holds 10 rounds and they are fed into the chamber smoothly without any jams. It is accurate and fun to shoot, not to mention affordable. And there you have it folks, these are my top pick for 22 LR firearms. Of course this is just my opinion. And you do not have to agree with everything I've just said. But what do you think? Do you own any of these firearms? What is your experience with it? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, to make sure to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out when we release a new episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.